What's up guys, John Hammond here, coming back at you with another video for the Natus War Game from Over the Wire. So, we just got the password for level 9, and we've got a script that will get the web page content for us, so we don't have to use a web browser. And um, this one looks like it's saying, alright, Natus 9, here's a form. You can find words containing uh, an input, just a regular text variable, uh, looks like with the variable name needle, and it looks like it'll search for us. The output is displayed in preformatted text, and we could probably see that in the web browser if we really wanted to. Let's do that just so you get an idea of what this level looks like. Natus 9. Natus 9. And you can see there is another option here to view source code. So we can check that out. Index source.html. Yep, that was the name of the file. And we can do that in our sublime text stuff if we really wanted to. We could decode that if we wanted to. Or we can just view it in the web browser. So it'll handle that a little bit nicely. Okay, so looks like PHP code, the notes here with the uh, variables with a dollar sign and all. Um, key is apparently set to whatever we post to or whatever is requested once we communicate with the server. Um, and if key is not an empty string, it will pass through. Hmm. What is that? Looks like a function. Uh, pass through. I'll check that out. And it's, oh, it looks like it might be running a command here, grep. So like we've kind of done in the command line with the bash shell, grep whatever we pass to it. Nice. Um, key in dictionary.txt. Dictionary.txt must be a word that it's trying to, or a dictionary that it's looking through. What is the PHP pass through function? Is it literally just going to run a command for us? Yes, it will totally just execute commands and display output. Okay, so we could potentially have remote code execution here, and we can totally get in the way of it because we're just passing in raw arguments to this thing. So if we wanted to find words that say, like, find words containing app, okay, all of these things in dictionary.txt, apple, obviously, right, um, what, etc. So we can put more in here, like, how about a period? So grep will use the regular expressions here, and that will return a period from... Period will match everything, just like regular expressions. It will match any character. So it returned the entire dictionary.txt file. But since we're supplying this as an argument that you can see went through without any... Um, like quotes are surrounding it to specify that that is a single argument. We could bleed into other arguments here and specify other files that we want to read or change up how this command works. Let's take a look and uh, let's do that in our shell here or our, our sublime text script. Needle can be app to see if we get responses. Let's run this. We don't want to go to index source anymore. We want to be posting it to the actual page, and we're getting all of this output. So, can we return anything with the period? Um, huh. Oh, okay, it must be getting some strange characters out. So let's go A. Let's just... App? Okay, maybe some maybe some strange characters are in this dictionary that Python does not want to render for us. We can change the encoding here. Coding equals UTF-8. That's the magic magic Python syntax to suddenly be okay with Unicode characters. Will that work for us? No. Okay. Um, man, that's super annoying. Let's do this with a web browser then, I suppose. At least let's figure out our attack. Let's say we can actually return anything, and if we had a space in between this, we can actually ask for another file that we want to look through. I think, right? Let's go to Natus Pass, and we want Natus 10, right? Search. 
looks like it returns from the file that things matched in, but the NADA's password file should get a result. It should have matched at some point. Let's check out, let's control F for NADA's 9, NADA's 10. No luck. Huh. Was it in, etc.? Is it just going to display anything for us that's not dictionary.txt? Doesn't look like there's any other notion of NADIS. No. So, maybe that didn't work. Okay, well, we still have command execution, right? Can we do um, period or like anything from nowhere? Yep, nothing. Nothing from nowhere and use a comment to end the end what we're in and the rest of the line here so it doesn't put in that dictionary.txt for us but we'll use a semicolon to note a new command right okay cool so we got command injection just like that so now we should just be able to cat um natus pass natus 10 is that not the is that not the right location? Over the wire. Whoa, what the heck? Over the wire dot log over the wire dot org. What am I doing? Natus. Etc. Natus web pass. Oh, I'm a fool. So the old attack probably would have worked just fine. Natus web pass. Natus 10. Yeah. Oh, geez. It totally would have worked just fine. Except I'm an idiot. I'm sorry I didn't even realize that path, guys. I thought it was the same syntax as uh, the other war games. Well, hey, okay. That's done for us, right? There's the attack. We can return anything. Um, and let's just get something that we know is in here. Actually, no. We can just say anything, and then we can still use a comment to not include the um, not include the dictionary.txt file. Natus web pass natus 10 and use the hashtag here so we won't return the um, rest of the responses from the dictionary.txt file. We commented out the rest of that command here. So now we've got our password loaded or displayed out to us and let's use our regular expressions here to carve it out. Just like that, we get our password, and we are good to go. So Natus 9 is done. We can put this in the script for Natus 10, and just like that, we are ready to move on. So I hope you guys, I hope that made sense. A little bit of command injection, because that that code was just being passed through to a real command, like a bash shell, and executing it, and we can just kind of wrap around the arguments or do some unique things with it, and we can load content from other files, because that's the way grep works. And we can use other bash syntax stuff, like comments or other commands with the semicolon to do other interesting things. So, cool hack, cool vulnerability there. And that's a real thing. Command injection is, for sure, a real problem in web security stuff. So, okay. Now they filter on certain certain characters. Huh. Let's get started on that in the uh, next video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these.